are such an asshole. Angry Cappy in the sea. All right, hi Cappy. First of all, I want to say thank you for saving me from an undergraduate in economics from ASU. No problem. Here to help. You know how you guys become an economist? Do you want to become an economist? Here's what you do. You go major in engineering or you become a CPA and then you study economics for free on the internet or uh, you go to the library and then you just write stuff on the internet and you will become a more famous economist, a better economist than all the economists at the Federal Reserve. Because what Federal, uh, Federal Reserve economists do, what quote real economists do, they're quants and they enter data. They're data entriesmen. If you want to be an economist and actually work on economics, you just go and do it. Was it? Wasn't there a guy, he didn't take one philosophy class and he wrote the best-selling book on philosophy in like decades because he just studied it as a hobby and all these fucking dickless philosophy doctorates like got all pissed off going, I thought you have a degree. It's like, oh yeah, like your degree's worth something. That's... So I'm glad we saved you from a worthless degree. I found your videos around the same time I took my intermediate economic courses. My first reaction was hostile because my classes required calculus and and were intellectually challenging it was wait and were intellectually challenging it was not until later till i asked myself how is this applicable my mother asked the same thing and i gave her the bs my professor said yo your professor look them up now or her look them up now where are they at are they still teaching because they can't do it was not until i watched more of your videos i put two and two together and went for a statistics degree this change Put my graduation date back until May of 2021. My question is, with what appears to be a slowdown in the U.S. economy, how likely am I to get a job during the re during a recession? You are li here's here's my great economic word well uh, works. You are less likely to get a job in a recession. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, professional economist. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are less likely. I don't know how much less likely. It depends on the severity of the recession. See how easy economics is. The real, the real answer to every economic question that every economist has asked, the real answer, the truthful 100% of the time answer is, I don't know. I don't know. You will stand less of a chance of finding a job when unemployment is 8% than it is where to, what, 3.7, 3.8%, whatever it is now. Uh, did I make a safe bet getting a STEM major to hedge against graduating during recession? Yes. You don't know if there's going to be a recession or not. <clears throat> who did? Who told you there was going to? Did they say? They say? Oh, they say there's going to be a recession. Really? Are those the same guys that predict the price of gold will be X? The, the stock market will reach 50000 Are those guys? Those days? Uh, you did make a safe bet. Getting a STEM major, yes. I was considering grad school at the same time getting an MS in stats. It will be all paid for by my tribe. And I'll, what, Are you an uh, Indian? Uh, American Indian? or Are you Jewish? What, what are you? What do you mean your tribe? And I'll have some left over to cover my rent. What are your thoughts? Let me know how much this will cost. This may be a stupid question, but could you do a video response? How much would Yeah, I could do a video response. Uh, then I asked you... Uh, what about programming or actuarial science? What are you going to do with a statistics degree? I'm looking into programming languages such as R, Python, and SAS. There you go. Okay. Main problem with a statistics degree or a math degree or physics degree is it's not applicable. Shut the fuck up. Not you, because I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to fucking butt. But, 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 but. I have a physics. I know. I know. I know you know someone that has a physics degree or a general stats degree. Good for fucking them. What are they doing? Oh, they're programming. So this kid should do the fucking language. Kid's so fucking so I got a degree in chemistry. God, shut the fuck up. In general, though. A statistics degree, that's great. Like, you did 98% of the work in your mathematical powerhouse, but you need to translate that into practical skills. And that's why uh, this is good that you're looking at R, Python, SAS, and all that, because then you can learn how to do database. You know, SQL will be another one. Uh, programming model. You, you just can't, oh, I can do statistics real good. Well, good. You're a great mathematician. Can you take those raw math skills and create a model for an insurance company. Can you do some uh, actuarial analysis? Can you, and, and using these tools that the industry, either in the insurance industry, actuary industry, the finance industry uses. So you need to tailor 
either through a minor or maybe completely redeclaring a different major, like maybe in data analysis or, or big data, although I kind of like statistics. I would say the best thing would be actuarial science. But right now you need to, you just can't go out there with a statistics degree. You need to go for either uh, some kind of quantitative analysis in the finance industry, actuarial science, which I think is your best bet. I'd, I would change your major to actuarial science if you could. Um, <clears throat> or what was the other one? Big data, actuarial science. Come on, kid. Oh, data science. Yes, data science, quantitative analysis and finance, data science for uh, computer programming and stuff like that. Uh, or actuarial science. They, the skill sets do then a lot over one another. So you are not necessarily wasting your time in statistics, but I would, I would even uh, reconsider, if they offer an actuarial science program, or maybe you want to go more of this programming around with R, Python, and SAS, become a quant or modeler, uh, that, that's good. So you're kind of doing the right thing, but see what options you got and what, what uh, profession interests you the most. And you got to tailor your classes and your degree towards that. Uh, I looked at schools, actual oil program, and why I decided against it. I didn't want to spend the remainder of my 20s studying for the exams. I want to go into data analytics and the quantitative side of economics and finance work. Okay, work for a credit card companies, as you mentioned. Good, there you go. There's your answer. All right. You're, you're, but get those. Dude, first thing you do after you don't watch this video, if you got time, is you go online and you look at what the programming skills are and the computer programs that they need you to, to know. And that's what I would be dedicating my time towards a uh, free time. Uh, and even if they do happen to have a, a, a data analysis program at that school, do it. But if they don't, I'm going to assume they must have some classes you can take that, that tailor it towards that. You also might want to consider getting the Microsoft professional certification in data analytics. That'll help. Um, but okay, we know what, what field you're going into. I'm applying for internships as a corporate statistician in order to gain further insight in the field. Overall, I chose statistics because I saw the versatility of its application over a variety of sectors, opportunities to move to different cities and work in different fields. This is overall my impression of the field. Tell me if it's a pipe dream and how realistic this would be in a recession. Dude, the, the, your question in your, your, your hate boner for recessions is pointless. You are going to endure recessions. Recessions are coming. Maybe not today, maybe not next week, maybe not even within a decade. You never know. But in your lifetime, you, there are going to be bad economic times. So just don't worry about recessions. They're going to happen. I mean, worry about them, prepare for them, save yourself a little bit of money on the side, have a really good degree, have a good side income going on, invest in some kind of contrarian investment so that if something goes bad, things go well. But don't worry about the recession. But I think, yes, yeah, statistics and data analytics and these programming skills uh, is, is about, that's about as recession proof as you're going to get. Um, that's about as good as you're going to hope for. Unless you want to become a doctor or something, a surgeon. But, the, but that's, that's way too much fucking schooling. Uh, over a pressure field, pipe dream. Not a pipe dream. I think it's very realistic. For sure, everything safe. Yeah, no, dude, I think you're doing good. Now you got me wondering, are you on the <clears throat> Arizona State, you know, are you on the reservation, what is it, the 202 shoots north along Scottsdale? It's on the left side, it's, Scott, well, if you're going north, on the left side, it's all Scottsdale, now on the right side, it's farm fields and the reservation, and then the, I think there's two casinos, I know there's one for sure. Is that the reservation you're on? Because then you just shoot down right to Tempe, and then you go to school. <laughs> Try, I, watch, it's just, just with what he calls his family. Um, anyway, no, I think that's, that's, that's a smart idea. I like how you're learning your programming there. Um, don't go to grad school. Don't, don't, just, just postpone. Look, you can always go back to grad school. Go get some money. Go ahead. You, you, look, you, you contradict yourself. You're like, oh, I looked into actuarial science, but I don't want to study you know, all my 20s taking exams. It's like, what the fuck would grad school be? I, go get some work. Okay, get some work experience. Go have some fun before you're 30. All right, grad school is always there. You can always go back, but go out, get some money, get some work experience, build a resume. There's nothing, nothing worse than some kid who's been in college and graduates with a grad degree at 26. It's like fuck, you're a quarter century old. You know, you don't have, you have no work experience. So I, I think you should be able to find some employment 
with a bachelor's degree, maybe even beforehand, if you intern, you get some really good programming skills. <clears throat> but I want to get a master's in statistics. Besides, save your master's, like go work and figure out what you want to do. And then save that, you know, if you got the energy and the, and the time with you, you need to get a master's. Wait until you know what you really want to do. Say, oh, yeah, I really like this. And then you find out, oh, I do want to become an actuary. Oh, I, I don't like programming. I want to become something else. I don't know. And then save, save your program, your grad uh, tuition. Save that till later. But get out and get some work experience. So. All right, there you go. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.